In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Twitter bot uh, which will automatically update your Twitter account for you. Um, you can see here, this is my Twitter account that I use uh, for my YouTube channel. And you can see here, 23 hours ago, I tweeted a link to my video. Again, the day before, there's a link to my video, the day before and the day before that. Uh, every single day, it tweets a link to one of my videos. It picks one at random and then tweets a link to it with a short description and some hashtags uh, just to promote my channel and you can see occasionally I will get some tweets and, and likes to it and it, it just helps draw traffic and I don't actually have to do anything about it it's just a small amount of time to set up and then once it's done I just leave it running uh, as a cron job and there you go the first thing you need to do is I store all this information in a Postgres database so you need to have one already installed I have videos for this so you can look down in the description I'll link to those um, and then once you have it up and running, uh, we're good to go. Um, so the first thing you need to do is I'll create a database and call it Twitter. I'll execute this. And then from here I want to create the table that I will use to hold all my YouTube videos. That uh, is create table. Let's call it zoom in a bit. Go and the table exists. So now, if we update this, there you can see there is that table, it exists there. Okay, and then what you need to do is you need to get all the URLs for your video, the titles and the descriptions, and any hashtags you might want to use when you post them. Um, there are quick ways to do this, um, some automatic ways to do it, but I've actually done it manually. Uh, I have them all saved, so they're all ready here to go. There you go. 13 rows installed, I have 13 videos available on YouTube. So then if you select all, there you can see all these videos are ready. That's step one done. So once you've done that, the next step then is to create your Python script which will update your Twitter account for you. Okay, the first thing you need to do is just put your shebang at the top. description of them all. This is for our authentication, so this is for connecting to web APIs and when you need to provide authentication in order to access them. This get tokens is where I actually hold all my tokens so I don't display them on screen. They're there, just a separate file for me to use. It's PsychoPG. This again is the module used to connect to a Postgres database. This extras again is a sub module. Uh, this is a utility file that I sometimes make use of. Not always, but I import it anyway. This is the tweeting module. This is used for connecting to Twitter, your Twitter account and to post. Uh, and then this is a maths, because we will use actually use this to generate a random number, which we will use to decide which video we will post to Twitter. Okay, the next thing I do is I, or you need to do is import all your keys um, as variables, just to save time, so you don't, to shorten them and just to make it easier to use later on. Um, again, I'll just copy paste that straight in and kind of move on with that. Then next we want to set the, the Tweepy authentication, uh, which is what we will use to access your Twitter account. And that is done just by these three lines here. You can see, so auth is your auth handler and this is your consumer key and your consumer secret. And then your access token is your access key and your access consumer secret, which is taken from your Twitter account. If you don't have a Twitter API set up yet, uh, I have a video on how to do that as well, which I'll link in the description. Um, and then once you've done that, you create a variable which will hold your 2P authentication. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to create a connection to your Postgres database in order to access your table with your video information. In. Okay, and there you can see here, so this is our connection name. This is the module we're using. This is the database we're connecting to. Our default password, which I just always use such a cheap one for these videos and that's the user we'll be using. If connection is unavailable you will get a message back um, but as long as your database exists and is up and running you should be fine. Right, we'll just move this up a bit. So how do we decide on which video to upload? You need to actually program this logic in. Um, so my logic that I use is it's quite simple. Count the number of videos you have in your table, choose a random number between one and the number of videos that you have 
and it's as simple as that and then you take the information and post it. If you go back to our database and I do a select count all from this table you see I have 13 videos so what I want to do then is I want to pick a number between 1 and 13 and that's the video that I will use. So what I do here is I, I create a connection and then I create a, another connection which holds the details of the videos that I will be using and then with my original connection what I do is I execute the exact query that I just showed you which counts the number of videos in, in my table and then I assign that output to the variable video count so then we can execute this if I print all if I print video count so then the next thing we need to do is we need to find the random number between 1 and 13 so here you can see I have random number variable and to that variable I assign 1 and the total video count that I have so that's the output of the tuple of the variable video count so then to show that will work you can do that save I can then re-execute this and there you'll see 1 I can re-execute again so you're picking up the number between one and the number of videos that I have in my table. So then the next thing I need to do is I need to use this number somehow in order to pick, an, uh, to pick a video that we have. So uh, to wrap that into our script we can just do this. So here, so get video details, we select the title, the URL and the Twitter hashtags from YouTube videos where the ID is equal to this random number. We then file this off as a statement, hold the, hold the returning data into a variable, and then we can print this off to actually have a look at what it looks like. So there you can see I've just, this SQL statement, I've executed with the, within the cursor video details, and then I've, I've attached that to the variable video details, and I'll print this off so we can have a look. And there you go. So it's returned video number 9, which is installed CentOS on Mac VirtualBox. This is the URL, and these are the hashtags that I would use when linking to this on Twitter. If we create another variable, we call it TweetString, and within this we take the uh, returning data. So you can see we have, if you look at the top here, this extras, PsychoPG extras here, allows you to actually query the column names that are returned with a Postgres cursor or a Python cursor connecting to Postgres. So I can assign the title plus a space plus a URL, a space and the Twitter hashtags and also the Twitter hashtag tweetbot just so people know it's a bot and it's not actually me just out of politeness really more than anything else. So we can print this just to see how it works. Again, so we fire this one off and there this is pick video number eight this time and you can see here this is the tweet that will actually go to display on Twitter so there's one more step we need to do is we actually need to get this string and we need to push it to Twitter and we call our API update status and we pass in our tweet string that will then fire off to Twitter and it will post that tweet. We fire off our script and then if you go to my Twitter account, which you will find here, we refresh the screen and there you go, 23 seconds ago, you can see install Postgres Sniper Pipe on Mac and there you go. And that is how you create a Twitter bot. Uh, any questions or any issues, just hit me up in the description on my Twitter account, which you've seen, or yeah, any comments, let me know. Um, yeah, and have fun. Thank you.